Massive mobilizations rocked France on Thursday, March 23rd. Workers have given an ultimatum to French President Emmanuel Macron, demanding that his government withdraw the pension reform that was passed without a vote in the parliament. According to estimates by unions, around 3.5 million people hit the streets in more than 250 locations across France on Thursday. Workers have continued work stoppages in critical areas including energy, transportation, railways, seaports, airports, industries, school colleges and universities and municipal services. Protesters tightened blockades of major roads, bridges and roundabouts in major cities. In many places, security forces clashed with the protesters and arrested them. On March 22nd, in a TV interview, Macron reiterated his plan to implement the pension reform by the end of the year. He did not show any willingness to see to the demands put forth by trade unions and left-wing parties to roll back the reform or to conduct a national referendum on its implementation. The unpopular reform, announced on January 10th, called to increase the retirement age in the country from 62 to 64 and made 43 years of service mandatory to avail full pensions and benefits. Heavy deployment of security forces continues in cities under the order of Macron to remove blockades. On March 16th, Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne invoked the Emergency Provision Article 49.3 of the Constitution to bypass voting in the National Assembly and pass the law amending financing of Social Security for 2023, instituting the controversial pension reform. The move triggered spontaneous protests across the country. Protests intensified when the government survived a vote of no confidence on March 20th tabled by opposition groups in the National Assembly. The motion failed after falling short of just nine votes. Fabien Roussel, MP, leader of the French Communist Party, said Macron is betting on violence, chaos in the country while his government is hanging by a thread. In a few days, we went from the debate on pensions to police violence. He has also called to expand the mobilization to bring the country to a standstill and hit the economy hard. Roussel urged the creation of a union between the left and the trade union organizations to work hand in hand. Trade unions and left movements from Greece, Belgium, Luxembourg, Italy and elsewhere expressed support and solidarity towards the French protests.